Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Welcome, welcome, weary vlogger. You've clicked on this video wondering about how you can use something like an old iPhone, for example, to be doing vlogging. And whether that's the appropriate place to start, or if you can start there, or if you have to invest in a fancy camera. Before we get into it, what in the world is vlogging? Well, it's kind of like blogging, except instead of typing up articles, you're walking around with a camera. In your, it's nothing like blogging. In fact, the V instead of the B, uh, you might think that it stands for video, when in reality... It stand, it's the, uh, the international symbol of the vlogger. It represents your body with your arm stretched out, holding the camera. That's what that V shape is at the beginning for vlogging. But besides that, can you do it? Do you have to have a fancy camera to do it? Or can you just get started with whatever the heck you've got? Thanks for sticking with us. Yes, this time it is real coffee in my cup. I, uh, yeah, I need it, I think. Hopefully it doesn't make things worse. If you haven't noticed, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Being attacked from multiple angles. Got the cold going and the pollen going because spring has sprung. But, uh, yeah, I've got this uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I thought we would go out and see how it does, how it holds up if I wanted to use that to make a vlog in this day and age. Because to be honest with you, it's not really practical to get a big heavy camera like an interchangeable lens camera like the one that I've got that I'm recording with right now. I mean, just imagine trying to carry that around. Uh, people do. Uh, in fact, I've gone out and recorded myself. It, it, I've even had it on the end of like a, a great big gimbal so it's ridiculously heavy i'm sure i look like a, a real jerk when i'm walking around with that thing people look at it it's got like the the shotgun mic on the top and like, look at that idiot out there I, I don't 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 let that discourage you i'm not trying to make you feel like you know getting out there and having the courage is a, a negative thing it, it's a good thing you want to get out there and have the courage so that when people look at you and they think like look at that guy with the camera who, who does he think he is you don't care but uh, you can do it in a much more conspicuous manner. Not not conspicuous, sorry. The, the opposite of that. Using just your phone. In fact, the phone is probably the best tool for the job because it's much lighter and more compact. You can just stick it in your pocket. They've got pretty good cameras on them now. I mean, this is a couple generations behind at this point. And uh, still, it produces a decent video quality. Now, it, you know, it has that cinematic mode that has to be in 1080p and 30 frames per second, which is why this video is in 30 frames per second. I wanted them to match up. Um, if, if you notice that I seem a little bit more fluid in my move my motion here not as much of the uh cinematic quality i well, i don't know it says cinematic on the iphone so it must be cinematic but um now just yeah whatever Let, let's go see how this does and test it in the real world trying the uh the whole vlogging thing to see if it's a, a feasible method for recording video for youtube in this day and age and whether or not you really do need to get the big, fat, heavy camera, or if you can just do it with your, your smartphone. Let, let, let's go check it out. Well, vlogging it up on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Do they have a titanium? I don't know. It's got like a, it's not titanium. I think that's the, the newest iPhone. What do you think? Looking cinematic, got it in the cinematic mode. It can only do 1080p, I'm sorry, you know. If you're watching this in the future, it's not very future-proofed. It's not in the 24K 4D format. I can't even tell if I'm in focus. I'm assuming the iPhone has pretty good autofocus, right? I mean, if my camera can do it, the phone has all kinds of processing power. It should be able to do it. But I can't tell. I don't even know if I'm in the frame because there's not a screen on the back. No monitor. And I'm not, you know, I'm using the primary camera. I'm not going to go with that, uh, like flip it around and use the selfie cam. What a waste that would be. Out here enjoying the uh, sunshine, even though I feel like crap. 
not trying to be negative, I just being attacked from two fronts, sick with a cold or something. And on top of it, there's all this pollen in the air. You know, the leaves are coming out, the blossoms are on the trees. And, uh, well, what can you do? But uh, yeah, does it look cinematic? Is it blowing out the background and all that? Maybe. You can, you can vlog with these. I've gone into the shade to sit down. I've got this whole international symbol of vlogging going, you know. You've got like the phone in your hand stretched out. I don't think you guys can see that part, but uh, huh. how's it doing with the dynamic range? It's probably pretty good, I imagine, with the three things and uh, but yeah, oh, I, I forgot. It's also 30 frames per second, so it probably looks kind of weird compared to my other videos. That's, I think, a little bit less cinematic because movies are in 24 frames per second, but these are the limitations of the iPhone 13. I think that the newest ones can do better. In fact, they, can, they have like a, a log style of uh, recording. By the way, I noticed that it doesn't do very well with the wind. I, I just listened to the other clip and there was some wind noise, so. But it's not bad. I mean, it's a lot better than what I started out with back in the day when I was walking around in the rice paddies in China with a Galaxy Note 10 5G. That was uh, <laughs> when I had no idea what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, but I know more than I did then. Yeah. Oh, it can do 60 frames per second. Definitely gonna put it up to 60 frames per second. And uh, 4K and all that. HDR 10 plus, that, that's pretty cool that it could do that, but I didn't know how to work with that, so. I would render the videos and I'd look like bright orange and stuff. Yeah, this has come a long way. The technology on the phones, if you're a vlogger, like this. Ah. Now I have seen the footage from the phone. It looks all right, it looks decent, it doesn't look bad. I, uh, I think that you could go around doing that. I've tested it with an iPhone 7. Uh, you know, I, I could go all the way back. I've got, you know, going all the way back to the iPhone 7. I've got a 5S. I think we've got a, uh, no, we don't have a 6, but a, a 7, an 8, a 10S Max. I've got all kinds of iPhones that I never get rid of for some reason. I just end up getting new phones. My wife likes the iPhones. But um, yeah, they, they, they do okay. I mean, if you, you, let's face it, most of the people like you and me who are getting on here trying to make videos don't have all this knowledge about editing and fixing colors anyway. So having some big fancy camera isn't necessarily the way to go. Plus they're heavy, you know, it's kind of cumbersome to be carrying it around doing the vlog thing. It's much easier just to have the phone and that's good enough for YouTube and it'll look great. You know, the, the cameras are getting pretty good on them. In fact, they have been pretty good on them for quite some time. So I would say, yeah, this works. This works. You can make a, a passable vlog style video right now using nothing but your phone. And I would go as far as to say that's the right tool for the job. So did that answer your questions? I mean, if you have any other questions about it, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with the phone to augment the, uh, the experience. If you have any questions about that i can do my best to answer them um i didn't hear any so you'll have to leave them down below the video in the form of comments and that sort of thing down where the uh, the thumbs up lives too you you might as well hit that while you're down there and um, you can subscribe also so that you don't miss out on bad advice going forward it's not bad advice it's not bad advice i promise that i'm giving good the best advice that i can give i better stop here i'll see you guys later ไฟพวงลงเฝ้าเจ้าบางประกงห่างไว้งงลงเกิน